Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. Un for the time being, that this is going to be post for about 18 minutes because I forgot to switch the input. Anyway, so I'm going to read a gag article every time I do one of these, and I found the perfect one from the Babylon Bee. Trump secures unlimited chips and salsa in Mexican trade deal. That sounds hilarious. W, an upside down M. I, I don't get it. Oh, you will. W is not in the Spanish dictionary. But then it's easy. And the whole world opens to Yeah, you heard that right. Unlimited. Trump gloated to the press. The Mexicans wanted it. My friend. It to be one bowl of chips oh, per customer and a dollar twenty-five for each ball at that. Brother Dorking stole but me I said, one no way. All the no, chips and salsa we can eat or I walk. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, Trump stop. then talked about He's the advantages of the deal, country, like please. filling up on chips and not even needing to get an expensive meal to go with them. The Democrats, though, were not as positive about this deal. The chips are greasy in-house. Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, it's just not healthy to eat so many of them. The Democrats are losers, Trump responded to that criticism in a tweet. Who doesn't like free chips? No one. Prepare for a red wave, a red wave of salsa. There are some doubts about the trade deal, though. Mexico really might have gotten the better end of the deal, said economist Gregory Jensen. To secure unlimited chips and salsa, Trump had to concede to Mexico all the ketchup packets they wanted. <laughs> and good ones. Heinz. I mean, Mexico could start grabbing ketchup packets by the handfuls. It's doubtful we can eat enough chips to make that worthwhile. Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Last Saturday I saw you Okay, that I expected that to go on Get a little longer. Okay, there's gotta be another good one here. What's wrong in your head? Little shit ain't worth it. Local yes, reader thought sir. this article was supposed to be satire. Here we go. U.S., according to sources closer to a local reader of this article, the regular user of this site hey, thought this article was supposed to be satire. You sure? Since the satirical content of this piece was simply a slight exaggeration from reality, the user humorously pointed out that it could, in fact, be mistaken for real news, prompting the reader to make a comment. Hey, I thought this was supposed to be satire. The reader posted in the comment section beneath the article on both Facebook and Twitter. I'd really appreciate if you guys could just stick to satire, the reader added later when the first comment posted didn't get more than five likes. A quick pursuit of the commenter's history indicated that they had posted the same comment over 47 times on various pieces published by the site. At publishing time, the reader had posted that they usually like satire, but this time the site had gone too far. <laughs> Come on. These are not very long articles, I'm now realizing. New and improved car seat only takes 30 minutes of strenuous fiddling to install. Hanwell, Montana. New parents everywhere rejoice. Montana-based manufacturer Adababe has created a new infant car seat that has solved one of the most frustrating things about transporting tots. Car seats are nearly impossible to get into cars. While previous models could take hours of sweatly browed teeth clenching finagling to get the seat securely locked in place, often ending in defeat or death. Can you take my photograph, please? Our new model can be placed in the car easily with minimal struggling of only 30 to 45 minutes of strenuous fiddling. And that's a guarantee, said Adam Abe CEO Clara 
Winker, Winkler. <laughs> That's a cool pose. Anyway. The new car seat is also easy to buckle in. As soon as your child is in the seat and ready, only 5 to 15 minutes of puttering and fiddling with the straps, trying to untwist them and find the little buckle thingies is required. This is a huge step forward, considering old models often could not be buckled in properly and would usually just be a bunch of twisted straps barely holding the child in place. After hours of twiddling, tinkering and fiddle faddling <laughs> the new car seat comes with a 30 to 45 minutes of strenuous fiddling guarantee Winkler added if you spend one minute more strenuously fiddling this chair we will give you a couple of three free pacifiers a coupon, no, me, a coupon for three free pacifiers and add a babe window sticker <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Trying to avoid law enforcement. Trump suggests, suggests having snow speeders fly around tornadoes to try and trip them with tow cables. Okay, okay, I'm going to read this one. Have you ever seen The Empire Strikes Back? Trump said suddenly at a recent Space Force meeting, interrupting some boring briefing on Iran. Um, yes, yes sir, I, uh, certain that we've all seen Empire Strikes Back. One general frightened about where this conversation was going, uh, Anyway, tensions with Iran and the Gulf are great movie, Trump continued. Way better than the prequels. Anyway, yeah, I saw a tornado on the news the other day, and it got me thinking. Snow speeders. We could use snow speeders. The room went quiet. Don't look at me like that. I mean, we were all thinking it, Trump reported. We said, remember how they used the tow cables and knocked over the big crawly things? We could just do that to tornadoes. Sir, we'll look into that one commander. After an awkward silence. Man, that would be so frickin' rad, Trump added. Starting... Okay. Man, that would be frickin' rad, Trump added. Start... Out, staring out a nearby window. I didn't want to go watch Empire. Meeting adjourned. Trump and most of the DOD officers, officials gathered in the White House, Family Theater, and screen for a screening of Star Wars Episode V. At publishing time, sources had confirmed that one general had been relieved of active duty after suggesting that we just have a capital ship jump to light speed through the tornado with an inc incredulous Trump pointing out how that's physically impossible and a huge violation of previously established physics in the Star Wars universe. I'm trying to look for other ones, okay? So welcome to our humble police house. Can I help you with something? Chief? I'm ready uh, come on, I have another one. Of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he uh, wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. <laughs> but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Let's negotiate hey, that. Look, this will save you money in the long run. And uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But I'll give you a permit for 50. 
There we go. Bernie Sanders arrives in Hong Kong to lecture protesters ha on how good they have it under okay. communism. Well, price is fair. Here you go. And here so is your Hong Kong, as soon as Bernie Sanders the heard about the democratic protesters in Hong Kong, a suitable candidate for humane dispatch. He knew something had to be done. The U.S. Yeah. Senator quickly chartered a flight to Hong Kong in order to throw himself into the fray. Sanders bravely stood in the middle of the conflict between police and protesters, shouting at the ungrateful little dissenters, dissenters that they don't know how good they have it under a communist regime. Remember, you could have it a lot worse. You could be in America. Sanders bellowed as police officers for the totalitarian regime beat protesters in the background. Hey you, you on the floor there. You're not looking very appreciative of living in one of the greatest communist countries on earth. Sanders continued his long-winded rant about the need for the government to own the means of production. How great bread lines are and how bad things are in capitalist America as protesters got dragged away by police to be disappeared. Just think, in America, we have to pick between 14 different types of deodorant, he said, his fingers flopping around like limp sausages. <laughs> According to sources, Beto O'Rourke is planning on joining Sanders to inform Chinese citizens just how lucky they are that they don't live in a racist country like America. <laughs> Fuck Beto O'Rourke. I'm not going to go into too much detail on it, but he's a fake Mexican and a real condal. Come on, I gotta have a good one in here. There's got to be another good one in here. Oh, oh God. Is this piss? Oh. I've been oh. covered in worse, Fran. Of all the days? Good morning, sir. Hell introduces okay? 13 new varieties of shit. pineapple pizza. That's just cruel. I like pineapple on my pizza, by the way. Hell! The demonic forces of Satan proudly announced Thursday on debut of the 13 new varieties of pineapple pizza designed to torture millions of humans deceived into consuming the hellish abominations. The exciting new spins of pineapple pizza were forged in the fires of the hottest portions of hell and are designed to cause the greatest pain and suffering on earth possible. We expect the new crazy pineapple kale pizza to be especially nefarious. One high-ranking Dominican official said in a board meeting, unveiling the new assault on things good and holy. The pizzas shall masquerade as good and wholesome food, but in reality, they shall be agents of his darkness, Lucifer! Hail Satan, hail Satan! Other varieties of armed youth of Satan are prepared to foster upon unsuspecting humans worldwide, including deluxe loot fisk pineapple, tropical tuna pineapple, and pineapple marshmallow delight. Hell's disruption center reportedly began shipping Satan's pizzas to select test markets this week. <laughs> God, I love this page. Study. Couples occasionally glance up from electronic devices to acknowledge each other's presence are the happiest. I should have enough time for one more. Couples who occasionally glance up. Hold up. U.S. A new study carried out by Brown University found that couples who occasionally glance up from their phones and tablets in order to acknowledge each other's presence have the happiest relationships. While many partners are too absorbed in whatever they're reading on their iPhone to look up at once look up once in a while as though they are aware that someone else is in the room with them, 
It appears those brief glances are what makes a relationship really tick, said one research intern. It's important to create those moments of concern. Researchers found that couples who put the office on in the background and then settle in to browse the internet on their personal electronic device can have a happy, fulfilled relationship so long as they carve out a few seconds to look up and make some eye contact before resuming their internet surfing time. Experts also recommended asking your spouse what's so funny when they force air out of their noise slightly more forcefully than usual. As they're probably looking at a funny meme, the two can share together. <laughs> or, you know, they're reading a satirical gag article from the Babylon Bee. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Hello, enough for that. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. That's funny ah, as hell. Funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels, wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. Goddamn furries. Mine shudders. <laughs> Worthless, him. dirty help me put him out of animal misery. fucker. $95 reward, damn. Now, I get a little frustrated with that. A little ways down the road. And I get a little confused on where he actually is. Because I'm looking for the normal bounty marker. But it is marked under that guy's initials. They're right... There, it, there, it's on the map is what I'm trying to say. You'll see it in just a little while. And I won't go after him. Uh, it's, like I said, it's, it's around somewhere. Yeah, it's that guy right there, under the professor. And it was around this point I realized I was on the wrong input. So, yeah, that's enough for my post-commentary. But for the time being, thank you all for listening to my little rant about joke articles on Twitter. That's all I got to say on this post. You'll see more of these later, because I do this a couple times because I'm an idiot. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 up. Guess who gets to do a whole lot of post-ed audio because I forgot to switch my inputs. God damn it. I was recording on the wrong fucking input this whole time. And I've been gone for 18 minutes. I don't use my... whatever it's called... Condenser microphone when I play this because the fans running I use the dynamic and I forgot to change the inputs Because I'm intelligent long story short Tracking down dick holes tracking down assholes Lots of runaround stopped an artist from getting himself killed by a pissed off husband blah 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 Let's go find me a no good filthy criminal for this guy to test his death machine out on. I 
a big mistake. Stuff that mouth up or I'll do it for you, bitch. I asked you guys. Another guy fling. Get out of here! Cause I'm doing the same thing. Twenty dollar bounty for killing two police officers. What's this? I'm just me hiding out in here. Where is this guy anyway? Well up into the north. Let's just keep a good distance from the lawmen. In fact, let's give them a wide berth. Birth, birth, I don't know. Yeah. I don't care. I'm going to give them plenty of room because I'm not in the mood to deal with that. A legendary hunting animal. Legendary boar, apparently. Okay. Ah, shite. That's not the one I wanted. That's what I want. My repeater. I think it's also kind of dumb putting a scope on a lever action rifle, a repeater rifle, in real life because that's not, that's not what a repeater was designed for. A repeating rifle was not designed for long range, so you don't need a scope. I've got a no-good filthy degenerate to track down to test an electric chair on.
And just keep on traversing the wild. Good god, this is a long walk. Easy there. Now we're going off the road. There's got to be a better way to do this. Easy. Yep. How you doing? Thanks. Well, I'll leave you to it. I have a degenerate to track down. There's apparently a furry for unwarranted animal husbandry. I swear to God, this guy fucked a horse up. I'm leaving you here, Shire. For now. I do think I found his camp. I just shot him. My god, he has a posse. I didn't I didn't realize. Be best to have my horse with me. There comes Shire. Watch your step now, Skyrim horse. That's not what I want. Now let's go catch us this animal fucker.
Damn it! I cannot tell who is who. I cannot tell who is who, and that's a problem. Oh! Why is it putting you all the way up there? My horse even coming. Good God Almighty. There it is. Damn it! This is why I don't like weapon wheels. So the inconsistency. You're your own jailkeeper, mister. In a prison of your own making. What the hell are you going on about? Now, I'm just gonna check your pockets. Come on now, horse fucker. I like your hat. That's not my horse. That is not my horse. There it is. Shire! Come here, boy. Come here, girl. like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? 
You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What the hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you, humanely. No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. Well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. Just like, well, like switching off a light. They wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. Listen, <laughs> animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. <laughs> you know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled, strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, half like the skin was ripped off. No! I'm yes. Bleeding. Some of them popped out. <laughs> yes. I seen the storm? <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief, but no, sir. It was light. The electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But you know, hey. This electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> <laughs> You're enjoying this, Arthur, and so am I. <laughs> oh, I love that. That is that is amazing. That is amazing right there. I'm loving this. Watch where the fuck you're going, asshole. Look at the floor for a pit. 
will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, I got him. Bring him to me. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Come on. Don't be shy now. Let's go. <coughs> ah, bring him over here. <laughs> now, where's my money? Um... Money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, so let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. I'll go ahead and we'll follow this guy and see if I can't watch the demonstration. Come on, girl. Especially considering the guy owes me money. I gave you some extra security. Called securing my investment. Hurry up! Good God Almighty. Get a move on. Do I not get to watch the execution? Are you just gonna sit here? Fine! I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2. As I go see what a Mr. Eagle Flies has for me. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.